Hello friends and family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, this is Domian's Kitchen. So today we are going to make Ghanaian Jello Fries. So let's get started. The ingredients that we will be using are capsicum and coriander, chopped tomatoes, onion, garlic and ginger, boiled beef and beef broth. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is put some oil in this furia, as you can see what I'm doing there. So I think that's enough. We'll add some onions. And then we'll give it a good stir. At this point, I can add my garlic and ginger and then continue stirring as well and I have to stir it until I get the brown color. So that's what I'm doing. So at this point, we'll go in with our capsicum. And the reason as to why I have not let the onions turn into a dark brown color is because by the time the capsicum has heated up, the onions might have burned. So that is the reason as to why I am doing that. We will keep stirring until we get the best results. So meanwhile let's prepare our meat. This meat has been boiling here for 30 minutes and the liquid that you see there, the brown kind of like liquid, is the chicken broth that I added in there just to add the flavor so I've added the meat that I, sh I showed you guys previously into the mixture of capsicum and onions and I'll keep on stirring until I obtain that brown and appealing color so that's what I'm doing I'll keep on giving it a good stir until I obtain the best results. You can see guys, everything is turning out well. So we we'll keep on with this process until we are contented. So guys, I'm adding in the chicken paste that I prepared earlier, but this is not necessary. If at all, you're going to add tomato paste, but I decided to go ahead and add them. So we'll keep on stirring and stirring until we are contented. Then add our tomatoes and keep stirring until they are well cooked and well incorporated into the meat. Look at that guys. Looks so yummy. Oh, I can't wait to have a bite of it. 
Just look at how everything is turning out, the colors, everything. So yummy. And I've not even taken a bit. But at this point, everything is in the perfect place. So at this point you are going to add our tomato paste and I will scoop like 2 to 3 scoops of the tomato paste. I think that's enough. Let's give it a good stir. So we will keep on stirring and stirring until we are contented. Guys, just look at the colors. I'm telling you this thing is amazing. So, at this point, we are going to add in our Reco cubes. And I have two Reco cubes with me. And I'm going to add them in that mixture. And so, that's what I've done. I'll smash them. I prefer smashing them with my stirring rod instead of smashing them with my hands. I think this is easier. So that's what I've done. And I'll keep on stirring and stirring until everything is well incorporated in there. So at this point, I'll add my chicken broth and give it a good stir. This chicken broth, I had prepared it earlier. You can as well prepare it with just boiling the chicken that has been marinated yeah then I'll add my spices that is cayenne pepper curry powder cumin and black pepper so we'll mix everything well in that sufuria. I'm telling you, you can feel the aromas in the surrounding. So at this point, I'm gonna add in my rice and make sure that you've washed this rice well before cooking it because the rice has a lot of dirt and dust. So that's what I got rid of and you can as well do the same. You have to do the same. So I'll give it a good stir. I'll keep on stirring and stirring until everything as well incorporated in there. The spices and everything. Just everything. I want the rice to get the vibe that was in there before.
now at this point we are gonna add salt and that is one and a half tablespoon of salt afterwards we are gonna stir it well so let's start doing this So at this point we'll add in rosemary and the reason as to why I'm adding in rosemary is because rosemary has a very strong scent and I want to obtain that scent in my jollof rice. So I'm done and I'll give it a good stir. So guys at this point I'll add in the beef broth. This is the beef broth that I showed you guys before we started the preparation of this jollof rice. We'll give it a good stir. So at this point I'll give it a stir and leave it to boil until the water has evaporated. So that's what I'm doing and I'll be back to show you once I'm done. So guys, I'm back and you can see the results. Just look at everything. Let me show you how everything turned. And be gentle with the jello fries. Please, I beg you, be gentle. You have to maintain the shape of the green. Look at that, guys. I just prepared jello fries, my gosh. Just look at that. It's perfect. I didn't expect it to turn out this best. Bearing in mind guys that this is the first time that we are preparing jello fries and you can see the results. You can see. So I added in the coriander and I did this off camera. I'm sorry guys about that. You know I'm always here for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So at this point we are done and look at that guys we just prepared jello fries how cool is that look how i served it with some soda some avocado my gosh look at that the plating the garnishes my gosh on another level guys you have to try your own jello fries at home because you'll never regret about it just look at that so we have come to the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye